Okay. I just don't, I don't, just don't touch. Okay, okay. This is the kiss, the kiss. Okay, okay. Small. Okay, you sit there. There. Okay, you sit there. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is uh, Harrison from YRC. For those who are new, I do a little bit of uh, RC video in the channel, uh, build video, uh, running video, play video, uh, all of, all of that sort of thing. Uh, for those who are so for those who are not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It uh, means a lot to me to support the channel, to keep me grow, and to improve the video. Okay. In today's video, I'm gonna install uh, build this uh, LC70 body kit from Killer Body. This is a uh, Toyota Land Cruiser 70. Okay, I did uh, pre paint the body with uh, dark gray instead of a black because uh, I don't want the texture or design being lost in the in the color in the dark color. So all the pre pen body I did it last uh, last week or yesterday. Okay, all the body are here. I have my tools are ready to do the installation. Uh, I also have the light kit for this body from Killer Body. Also, I'm gonna install this today too. Okay, uh, I also have my Pepsi here to keep me going. Uh, okay, guys, I'm uh, can't wait to start to do the installation uh, without any delay. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna start with the building of the kit. First, we gonna do with what what we gonna do is the the body kit. Okay, uh, so far uh, I have. Uh, Prepare all the tools for the for the installation. Okay, I have the screw kit. I have the screw kit here. I have the uh, cut side cutter here. I use this uh, uh, cement plastic cement for the installation. Uh, I advise by the Gundam expert, not expert lah, hobby shop that. These are more suitable for my uh, for my usage. Uh, okay, he said that this uh, this cement will not cause your plastic turning, uh, not react to your plastic. So he suggests me to use this. He uh, suggests me to use uh, extra thin cement. So what are the difference between extra thin and uh, the other other uh, grade? Uh, this is a uh, much more slower slower to dry. Because maybe he saw my face, I'm um, looks very beginner, so he suggests me to use that for the <coughs> for the track lock. I don't know whether this is necessary or not. But uh, since uh, my history with Gundam, I never use this type of uh, track lock uh, to in a hobby because uh, Gundam are uh, mostly snap-on type plastic. But in this uh, instruction that I need to to have this uh, screw cement, uh, he said the screw cement. But I translate it to the track lock. I think it is the same thing. If you guys are not agree with that, please uh, comment below. Maybe we can learn together for the best uh, best usage for our hobby. Okay, guys. Uh, that I think that is uh, for the for the tools. I'm pretty much pre prepared with the tools okay uh, if you guys curious what are these black things are okay this is not a uh, this is not a uh, uh, aftermarket part okay all of these are uh, custom made by myself I I uh, custom made it from uh, acrylic acrylic plastic okay I will sh I will uh, show you guys later what are these for okay I, I watch a lot of uh, YouTube video on the installation guide even in uh, 
Asiatis uh, video they did not mention about this issue this issue are not is is not uh, captured in the video uh, for for so so I I did a uh, pre prefit of the body kit to the T-Rex for then I found out the issue so this gonna this kit that I custom made myself gonna solve that issue okay uh, so far I I what I what I see in the internet so far uh, most of them are not clearly mentioned what I do it they're doing uh, with that uh, installation with that issue they most of them are uh, try to avoid to show the the issue or to just uh, use a simple uh, trick and trick but but I, I did not go into that route so I'm sticking with my route uh, so I have to custom made the kit myself uh, I'm not gonna tell you now because I want you guys to stay in the video until the end so you guys know what are these for okay so so stop fumbling around we start with the installation okay this is our uh, all the parts that we need uh, obviously i already spray paint the car okay the body kit i spray paint it with the uh, flat white as i mentioned in the unboxing because uh, why i plan it uh, spray in pen white even though it's come with a white color it because uh, the white color plastic uh glossy or shiny so for me i am not liking the shining look so that's why i'm going for the flat white i don't have any ide other idea or artistic value uh, aesthetic idea to go with other color so i stick with white because that in the place first place that are my planning so far okay okay all the pen instruction are here already so what we gonna do first as per the instruction is going to install the hood still using this screw then we are gonna have to take the hinges for the door so this door also not gonna move okay the door also I already prepared it with uh, with flat white okay so we're gonna take the hinges. This should be the hinges.
Okay. Yes, part five done. So now we're gonna move to <coughs> part six, which is the windshield. Anything involving the clear windshield, clear plastic, and sticker decal. I'm not really a fan of it because once you peel this, that's it. You have to do it right. So sticker are here. So I'm gonna peel this one. Wish me luck. Okay, this one much more easier because this is on the flat surface, unlike the unlike the front windshield, it has a curve and a, it's kind of a little bit big. The bubble, I'm gonna the bubble I will deal with we'll deal with it later on. Okay, enough with that. Such a such a bad memory here for the windscreen only, not the whole insulation. The whole insulation is still better. This would be the four six uh, should be the one. Yeah. Unlike Gundam kit, the runner will be labeled uh, by by letter. So, for example, this would be the L runner. So, in the in the manual there, you will show the L runner. Unlike this one. There's no indication. See from here, it's nothing, not not match in the. Except that you have to find it on the on the indi individual tag. So it's kind of it's kind of time consuming. Not not a big deal, but uh, it's a uh, time consuming uh. I hope uh, if if killer body watch my video, I hope they. They, they are gonna improve on that. It's not a really a big deal, but but it's still a, a convenient, convenient uh, <coughs> for uh, installing installing the kit.
It's always happen. Why do you have to fall now? Can you wait until later? Put this one first. Oh. Should buy a should buy a small bucket. Do I have a bucket here? I think I have a bucket here. It's more easier. Yes. See? Nice bucket. Right? If you don't have this kit, mm, gonna be a bad day for you. Okay. And I pity you. So get yourself a disc kit from a DIY. This is not an uh, endorse, uh, endorse uh, advertisement. I just find it very useful and uh, it's kind of cheap. I think the brand is uh, Hota, not Ota, Hota. And this one is very small. Later, I'm gonna take it. This much more better. No wonder we need the tweezer.
all right we can continue with the k3 trilogs here now we're gonna install the dashboard this is the fun part dashboard so of course i'm gonna go for the asian uh, or uh, uk side okay what else do you want to do here this one double sided tape do i have to cut it by myself i do we looks like i'm gonna cut it by myself i have to cut it by myself Stick it on the, on the car. Obviously, on the car, not on the face. Don't worry, I have a, <coughs> I have a garbage bin on the back. So this one will be okay. Deal the bubble later, okay. I'll deal the bubble later on. Okay, looks nice. Of course, looks nice. Okay, uh, next part will be the 2.3. No, no, sorry, not the one. 2 and 3 is here. So, put the lock for the door. So the one will be N9R 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 Where are you? N9R Is it? Is it N9R? Yes N9R one, one, N9R Left Trim it further. My tip is, guy, you when you want to slip it from your from from the runner, the flat side, the flat side, the flat side of the of the cutter is on the kit side. 
the one on the on the side on the kit side. This side on the runner. If you use this side, you're gonna mess up with this. You're gonna leave uh, part of the mold here, and then you have to clean it up. So to minimize and to to minimize uh, that, to re by remo to remove the excess uh, runner uh, mold. So I, what my practice is on the flat side of the cutter on the kit. So you have a less uh, less mold on the, on the kit.
that we got to the right side of the car we're gonna put the snorkel first snorkel are six runner number six uh, okay put the big thing the obvious thing first First, we're gonna put this. It says put the cement. So I'm gonna put the cement on every hole. One. I hope you don't stick. The guy said. This will dry much more slower, but looks to me it's still fast. As I mentioned earlier, maybe the guy is expert, so his slow uh, still uh, maybe still fast for me. Keep it together. This is point no return. Can you move? Um, not sticking up. Uh, looks like I need to clean this part. It's a bit. Okay. I just kind of, kind of in the way. Normally, <clears throat> clean it in this. Wash your finger. We don't want any blood in the, in the YouTube video. I have the, the precision uh, cutter but I'm uh, lazy to go downstairs to pick it up If you are a kid or a minor, please ask your parent or guardian to help you trim this one. Please watch out for your hand, help for your finger. The hobby cutter are much more sharp than this 
So that is why I am not really keen to use it Because I'm a careless Sometimes I cut my hand, my finger This, uh, but this knife will do the job well too just need to inspect but need to be trip Thing should be okay. Try to test fit it. Okay. Everything light up. Just open back. Thing I don't need to put the cement. See, it's. Uh, if you done the done the trimming properly, it should not it should should not be a problem. Okay, this one also we need to clean just a bit. Let's clean the excess from the molding. Okay. Sometimes my eyes getting tired doing this uh, trimming because it's so small then you need to focus sometimes if you not trim this one properly it won't fit won't fit as a because the more uh, because because the excess getting in the way so you need to trim it properly not too much careful not to cut uh, the important part there's a one experience when I cut and I trim my Gundam part which are the consider uh, important part so when I realized that when that parts are being cut off, the kit are no longer usable, which means I have to discontinue the project because the main part has been uh, compromised. So okay, fit. Okay, so I'm gonna stick it on there, yeah. Using three a two point three bolt or uh, not yeah, screw. This is the one. <coughs>
Oke, okay. that's in. Oke, okay. what the they asking me to do here is the the light kit. But uh, as you can see here, we are still uh, has some part to part to put in. So uh, I'm gonna skip the light part first, and we gonna go for the fender. Okay, we gonna go for the fender first. Because once you put the light kit in, you will have all the all the wire dangling around. So you, so it might disturb you. So we gonna install this kit first. Okay. Get the screw, small screw again. It's gonna be fun. Gonna install this side first. The number one left. That side left. Number one left. By the way, this uh, fender material uh, pretty much the same like this, but this one a little bit more uh, uh, more harder. So we're gonna go this side. This side. Okay. We're gonna use. Uh, One point four four. So this is the one. Change the bit. I have to stand. I'm gonna put on the side first. This could be a tough area. As you can see, <laughs> it's a very small screw. I'm gonna put two screws. which are already been provided. Okay. Actually, the instruction says I need to use a 1.2 drill, but I don't want to mess this kit up. I'm gonna maintain with the uh, 1mm drill. I think one point uh, one mm a uh, little bit uh, still can be used. Just a little bit tight. No need to over tight it. Eh, 
we're gonna stick to this side first Install. It looks really nice. I tell you, it looks really nice. Okay, we are continue. We gonna do the side step. So side step are here. That step coming with the own its own uh, on screw. So now we're gonna do the two left side, two L, two L this one. It's getting dark. Take a seat first. We're gonna install the steel plate first. Actually, guys, it's really a steel. It's really a steel. Again with a small screw. Really small screw. For time being, I'm gonna use this to replace the missing uh, missing link. I'll find it later if I can find it. Okay, it's 
no blocks can but uh, it's uh, good enough uh, this part I'm not gonna do now we're gonna do it later when we we, we marriage the car so I think that's it this is also we do gonna do later because uh, after this I'm gonna explain what uh, this thing used for that are not addressed in the in the manual or video okay guys I okay guys the table has been cleared with the unnecessary uh, uh, things so I'm gonna leave only the things that we gonna need to test fit uh, to fit the hot body cover to the to the chassis okay we will start with the uh, chassis to remove this uh, mounting post this one on as you guys can see under there The stock mounting, the stock mounting as over for uh, TRX4 are, are touching the bed liner, so I'm not uh, going to use that anymore. So I'm gonna remove that and uh, and see what from there. Most of the uh, this is what I, I highlighted it earlier that uh, killer body did not specifically mention this in the in the manual not even in the manual doesn't say that we have to remove this but uh, I, I watch a lot of uh, YouTube video that they, they remove this uh, as over and put it to here uh, so it, it will make uh, the as over slide, slanting more toward the front but I'm not going to that route, so that's why I have I have made my own one on uh, absorber mounting to to keep the absorber straight up. I don't want the the absorber to be uh, be mount here, so I'm using this to mount it on the on the chassis. I I tried. I try to uh, mount this uh, bed as close as possible to the chassis to uh, to stimulate the real car uh, setup. As you can see here, as you can see here, this is the mounting. For the for the body provided by TRX, eh, provided by killer body. So I'm gonna mount the bed to here. So 
So if you can see the original uh, TRX uh, exopo mounting are more higher does it then that ended it uh, touching the bed so I'm gonna remove the bed and uh, we see from there You guys can see that the mounting for the for the original TRX are much more higher than the one that uh, Killer Body provided. So I'm gonna remove uh, the original mounting for the Exober and uh, gonna plan to install it on here, the bed on here, so that we will stimulate the real life uh, car. Special mounting, custom made mounting that I made. I'm gonna use back the, the screw. mount this as over <coughs> to mount this as over here I'm gonna use a, a different uh, screw this is a M3 time 25 uh, mm long these are the the size M3 time 25 mm These are the acrylic uh, plastic used for mostly used for banner advertising, uh, uh, signage, road signage. Normally they use this one. So, uh, actually, this is a three three plate. I glue it together and then uh, 
make a shape from there this is a chip this one is a chip chip solution I'm not using metal because uh, I don't have a uh, heavy tools to do the drilling and uh, so on I think this acrylic uh, plate are much more easier to be work with to compare with uh, steel plate because steel plate you really need a heavy tools to cut to drill to grind as for this acrylic uh, plate it's much more easier so we're gonna install the forward uh, the front uh, mounting tool We're gonna test speed again. As you guys can see, uh, the battery cover, uh, the battery latch secure uh, getting in the way too so if you, if you can see now the custom made the mount uh, much more same level with the killer body mounting so that thing this thing gonna get uh, gonna remove so i'm gonna remove this first But before that, <coughs> even though we already put in the custom uh, plate here, you guys can see that the car a little bit uh, lower on the front. And the bags are getting higher actually it's mimic the lift kit lifting kit so in order to make it same level i did uh, i make a same uh, custom bracket for it this is the one for the front these are for the left side again for the for the front so i'm gonna remove all the first then uh, install this I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you again how it does look, look like
gonna move the battery plus the battery cover we're not gonna need, not gonna need that anymore Even if you did the lift lifting uh, lifting kit as of this uh, level, the diff lock cable still uh, still can be used. So that remove. So now we're gonna remove the forward uh, forward uh, shock pound. Side, uh, I made this uh, myself too. Uh, from acrylic too, I I put the uh, three three pieces uh, glue together, two pieces glue together to mimic the original uh, the original uh, mount shock, uh, shock mount from TRX. This link already in. Now left is the this link already in. So now left the steering link. As you can see here, the steering link uh, looks uh, looks short because we because we lift the car up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, extend this link by using a. a longer longer poly nut so because we have the 25 mm uh, mm uh, 
bolt so you're gonna use that put this one in first okay after that uh, we're gonna lock the nut to the steering using this but we're not gonna lock now and then the second nut we're gonna put the nut first this will be uh, used to lock on the steering uh, horn uh, on the servo horn looks like this not giving us any okay Okay, now we're gonna attach it to the steering horn. Here. Yeah. Okay guys, uh, as, you can, you can see, as, as you can see here, instead of using this to extend it, because if I use this to extend it, it's uh, the steering looks really flimsy. So what I'm gonna do is, as a simple trick, just uh, loose, losing, losing the the link so that it, uh, it got extended. I already have purchased this link but it's not coming yet so I think for time being I'm gonna lose this uh, link like this and uh, try to see whether it's gonna attach or not okay it's like uh, it gonna fit by extending the okay so I'm gonna lose it a little bit and adjust it a bit to make it center okay Hey guys, uh, things it fit well. So it's not look flimsy. Just extend it like that. I think I'm gonna leave this leave this setup for a while like this. Bef uh, 
when I receive my longer link then I gonna replace this with a longer link this is happen because uh, because I lift up the car a little bit higher from the original spec so that's that's uh, done with the steering so now we're gonna test fit again this cover this body kit Okay guys, as you can see here, uh, it fit perfectly, at least for my taste, and the car looks uh, lift up without any lift kit. By the way, the, uh, the diff cable are working, working satisfactory. Okay. And this really saw my eyes because of the gap. So I'm gonna bring bring this bumper up, and then I, and I have made a special bracket for it. And we're gonna lift this one up before we gonna install this further. Okay. This bumper, I'm gonna fit it right here, like this. Then we're gonna use this. Okay, this uh, here. Now, gonna put back this one so you guys can see it.
tenho tem vez que quero vir ou não should be enough for a vlog if you ask me okay come guys I'll show you Right, that is what I'm going for. Front, I'm not gonna use the setup that people are using to move this toward here, which to me are not really scale look. So I'm going for this route. As you can see there. Okay. So after this. I'm gonna install a quick release. Hopefully, a quick release. My plan is to put a to put a magnet here. Let's see how does it come it on on the front too. So I hope the magnet can uh, hold it. Actually, this thing. Can secure it properly without problem. So without the without the magnet, so it can it still can fit. So I'm gonna install it too. Before that, I'm gonna mark. These are the magnet that I plan to use. It's quite strong. So maybe down here one. This light kit from Killer Body does not include the stopper, so watch out for that. Eh? No, no, no stopper for the light kit. But I thought it was, it was a minute. But it's for the wrong thing. Anyway. <laughs> If there's no no stopper, then I guess I have to use I 
I'm gonna use glue gun but my glue gun are not working because of a different different size so the job on hold again We don't have the small bumper, so not gonna use the small light because we already have the small light there. So we're gonna use the big one only. After that, the orange light. The orange lighting. So big light here, orange light here, a little big one, but small one we're not gonna use. Because the small one we going here. Okay guys, this is how I plan to uh, mount the car I put the magnet on the the mounting bracket same goes to the front one and uh, I glue hot glue another magnet to the body itself front I hope it's gonna work what you doing here? because of the light kit are not include with the with the what they call this one because eh? it don't include with the stopper the light stopper so I have to use uh, hot glue to put the no. LED in place
so guys this is how I uh, secure my wiring do the wiring management for the lighting now I'm going to marry, marry it to my ESC and to my uh, receiver it's time to marry this marry this to my receiver
the end of the video. I thank you for that for sticking out until the end of the build video. As you aware, as you may know that this is a, a different day, a different setup already. I clean up the table. Uh, okay, in this part of the video, I'm gonna explain to you or I'm gonna share to you what is what is the experience, what are the experience that I have during uh, the installation that I have uh, come in the difficulties what are the area that I found uh, need to be highlighted in the, in the video and uh, to share with the others in case you have uh, the idea to get this kit for yourself so okay uh, let's uh, not get too long on this video so I'm gonna start with the, with the build process uh, the build process actually take me around I think more than uh, four, maybe eight hours if you if uh, if I if I do it uh, continuously. But uh, I have a day job, so I have to do it uh, separately in a different day. So so the the build video that you watch earlier is uh, from the collection of the of a different day video. Okay. Uh, Okay, let, let's start with the, with the experience that I found out. Okay, actually, obviously, you can see that this build already done. I have done the, all the mod that need to be done. I, I see, I, I see these uh, kits are uh, very, to me, it's very beautiful. I like it so much. I like the, the white color. I did put uh, some stickers. Uh, this is the tire. Uh, uh, stickers. Uh, this is the Frexus stickers. Uh, this is a uh, the different bumper that I purchased uh, differently. So this is not the original TRX uh, 4. Okay. At the back, I still using the original TRX 4 bumper. Uh, I'm planning to change the, this one to uh, more low profile uh, bumper. So during the uh, touring, we don't get caught too much at the back of the car. Okay. Uh, uh, let's talk more about the exterior. Uh, as you know that uh, in the build, I, I spray paint this uh, body with a white color, flat white. Because if you did not spray it with the uh, the different color, you 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 have the glossy look of it. Uh, I'm uh, myself. I don't uh, like the glossy color, so I I go for the the flat uh, flat color so that's why I come up with the white color uh, I I really don't uh, prefer uh, any color as time being I like the white color okay uh, as for the <coughs> as for the bucket I have put some uh, decoration this is uh, just a decoration uh, you, you guys may know well better than me and just have to, to make your car look more scale that is what the others call it more scale to me it's other to be more realism okay this is not a uh, glue in okay uh, okay actually all the accessories i put here are glued uh, with hot glue i i don't want to use a uh, Self drill screw because I don't want to butcher the body. Uh, the body are really nice. Uh, it's uh, quite expensive also. So for time being, I don't want to do any uh, drilling on the, the body itself. Even the the drum also, I hot glue it on the bed. The the gas can and very can I glue to the to, to the bed here. And then the fire extinguisher, even the nose <coughs> nose bottle inside there. Maybe I should uh, should okay. Uh, as you can see inside there, there's a nose bottle there. That one also I hot glue it to the body. I really don't like to mess it up. Okay. So I hope uh, this camera will get more details for you guys. Okay. So the wheel arc or the fender or white fender uh, screw in with a small. Uh, not as uh, tapping screw. This is, I think, uh, uh, 
M uh, M4. Eh? No no, I think this one is much smaller. I am one I one and quarter. I I cannot remember. Okay. See, this is the side step. These are the side step with the with the kit. Get we get the uh, aluminium uh, plate here, diamond plate here. It really looks uh, real. In fact, it's a real diamond diamond uh, diamond plate. It's just uh, in smaller smaller size. You can see yourself there <laughs> in the side mirror. Actually, guys, this uh, side mirror mounting are very hard to install. These screw are very small. I think I did mention in the build video. Maybe I fast forward it and then, and then maybe I did not explain it. These uh, screw are really really small. This is a knot screw. This is a ball and nut screw. A ball and nut. I think this is a M. Uh, sorry guys, I really forget the, the the size, but this is really small. Okay, but it's really really look uh, realism. Really look real. Okay. As for this uh, door knob, I think this is called door knob. Uh, this also hot, uh, not hot glue. This uh, I use the Tamiya Tamiya glue. Okay. I think here is much more better lighting. Okay. This is the uh, the details there. I think this is for the air vent. I put the sticker pro line here because uh, I bought the. Uh, Super Swamper Boger uh, tire. This is a uh, this is still using a 1.9 inch rim, uh, but the the diameter of the tire are slightly bigger. If if I compare with the original, this is the original uh, tire that come with the TRX4. Okay, this is a uh, still this is also the same uh, 1.9 inch uh, rim uh, rim. So the tire are much more smaller. I uh, the tire diameter are smaller, but the 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 width of the the width of the tire are still the same. See that? Maybe a little bit bigger. Okay. So for time being, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this uh, tire. I'm gonna use this tire. Uh, actually, guys, this car haven't got into uh, dirt yet I haven't do the running video yet because uh, I really need to finish up this uh, build video so the running video the running video for this car will be in the next week uh, hopefully I can make it happen okay so I'm gonna stick for this uh, tire first if the if, if the tire are, are not really suitable for this Car, maybe I change it back to this size. Actually, this uh, Texas Tire Canyon uh, Trail, one of the most uh, what you call it, one of the most uh, uh, okay tire for the stock, uh, which come with the stock kit. Oh, the most, uh, the most uh, what you call it, the most uh, performance tire among the among the stock kit that is what I, I watch in the YouTube as well uh, so far I, I haven't have any any experience with other tires only this one so this one also I this one also I haven't got to try yet so I'm gonna compare it uh, basically basically this tire are really uh, it's feel the same uh, it still use the single uh, single sponge system, uh, same as this one. The I can I can uh, for me the tire feel are, are the same, but this uh, but this tire pattern are much more aggressive. You can see here, this tire are more aggressive to compare with uh, this uh, tire. Okay, but unfortunately the ring that I bought. Uh, without the venting hole, I'm not gonna show what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'm gonna drill it, but this is a metal tire. I don't have the tools to, to drill this type of uh, material yet. Uh, 
but that one uh, maybe in a separate video okay let's continue with the with the kaiser okay uh you can see, you can see this this is the <laughs> the antenna for the decoration only it's i i purposely choose the longer longer one it looks nicer uh, i have put i put this uh, in the description if you want to get it for yourself okay this is the yeah Sorry, I just pretend to yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. This is the interesting part. This plate, uh, custom made. I, I made it myself from a acrylic, uh, acrylic plate. I'm gonna uh, actually. Why this is here is because of the bumper. If I maintain this setup with the original chassis. The bumper will be slightly lower down, which make this uh, body uh, a bit far from the bumper. So it's gonna look uh, empty here, this part. So I raise this uh, bumper using this uh, acrylic part to make it much more uh, fit into the body. Okay, you can see the detail here. Hopefully, I'm taking a good uh, uh, angle for you guys. Okay. 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 Put the sticker here. Hopefully, I <laughs> I put the right sticker at the right place. But if I'm not putting it at the right place, please please comment in the comment in the description below. Uh, the cap, the the fuel cap. Sorry, I tend to turn the car toward here, which is this lighting. I'm not very good in lighting. Okay, the back there. This is a steel sticker. Uh, I plan to gonna spray it after this. Once the sticker. Uh, I will not, so I'm gonna spray it with red color. I'm still not not sure where I'm going to put this. I'm gonna put it here. It looks not really practical. I put it here. This drum are getting away. Maybe I just uh, put it somewhere here. Maybe get it, uh, put it loose. Just loose like that. Okay, as you can see from here. This is on the driver side of the car. Okay, then on this uh, the passenger side, you have your stereo there, radio there. At the center there is the GPS map. Okay, on this side, you can see your driver's uh, side. I put it on the right side because we are from uh, Malaysia, Asian country. Most of us are driving on the on the right side. Okay, I think that pretty much on the on the body. So we're gonna look into the inside. We're gonna open this uh, body. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we're gonna put this one aside first. We'll go with the body. Okay, as you may know, uh, this body. Uh, mounted, uh, mounted with this uh, plate here, mounting plate for this uh, T-Rex. Okay, this is the one. Okay, actually, this plate, as uh, according to the instruction, this plate need to be screwed in into the chassis here and to the body here. But, uh, but for me, if I'm gonna do that, it's gonna take much time. If we gonna open up the body, so when when I want to open up the body, I have to take out these two screw and uh, one screw at the back every time. So I don't want to waste time there. So I I put a magnet here, magnet here, and magnet here here, so that the car this chassis will stick to the body by magnet. So on the side of the car. It's I forget that I forget that this uh, 
this screw up metal okay let's put the one side you can see this uh oh, see that. <laughs> as, as you guys can see this bucket this bucket only stay here just by the magnet these are the leftover screw that I am not using the yeah on the car. Okay, put it on the side, put it on the side. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, move. We move on to the 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 chassis. Okay, here as I mentioned earlier, this is how I mounted the the body magnet uh, magnet i put a magnet here i hot glue the magnet here and to the back i put i hot glue the magnet here too okay this magnet you can easily get it in the, your uh, your uh, maybe one dollar shop or in malaysia we call it a uh, 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 super safe or even uh, daiso actually this one i got it from daiso uh, four piece of it in the uh, per one packet so I put it like this I stack it to here because I just want to raise up the this back uh, bucket okay this, this is this is how I mounted the body here okay moving on on the body itself okay as for the lighting I bought this uh, light kit uh, special uh, not special uh, uh, light kit uh, made for this uh, body kit uh, this is uh, originally killer body okay uh, this is how I root the the wiring from the center because the, here we will have the shock absorber so I hot glue this uh, control, bo control box here okay I root I root up the wire from this side to make it much more uh, clean, clean look at the front there. Actually, guys, uh, my kit, uh, my light kit that come with it, actually the big uh, bulb, uh, the big LED uh, buster. Okay, this is our uh, this is our uh, kit. Okay, hope you guys uh, can see this. I hope this camera are pointing on uh, <laughs> the right, right direction. Okay, these are the kit if you want to get it for yourself. Okay, okay. Actually, these are the one that's supposed to be fit in the headlamp, the main headlamp. Okay, but unfortunately. This uh, this unit that come with it are uh, busted, so I have to throw it out. So so I have replaced it with the smaller smaller uh, LED that come with it. Okay, so here is it. See you, if you can see uh, much more smaller. I always tend to forget the lighting. Okay, much much more slower. Okay, light there. Okay, um, gonna tell you guys uh, up front that this kit, this kit uh, does not come with the the what you call this one. It says here it does not come with the stopper. Yes. It does, it does not come with the light stopper so what I did is I hot glue it to the lamp to the to headlamp okay I hot glue all of it all of it to the headlamp I'm not sure why why the killer body does does not uh, ship it with the 
with a stopper because in the the hard body kit annual it says that it uh, the stopper are come with this head, uh, with this uh, light kit but uh, I don't know whether is it happened to me alone or or anybody else uh, 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 experience the same thing that we should not come with the stopper so if you guys have experience on this one please let me know downstairs maybe maybe is it only me or is it all the set are not come with the stopper so that is for the stopper uh, that is for the light kit This one side. I think I don't have anything else to to discuss here. I'll uh, finally I found a small small nut that I lost during the installation. Uh, you see how small it is. <laughs> Okay, let's continue with the the body. Okay, okay, guys, you can see here these are the body that uh, come with it. Okay, nothing much change here. Only a few things that I need to highlight. Okay, first of all, that I want to highlight is that the uh, absorber mounting. Okay, these are the one. Okay, so if you got, if you guys want to get this kit uh, for yourself, uh, know that uh, you have to uh, mod it, or you 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 have to set the set the absorber angle to much more slanting. So so the bed can rest here okay but uh, i'm not gonna go for that route because i don't like the the idea of of this uh, absorber uh, slightly mounting forward uh, slanting forward i like it i still prefer it to be horizontal so i've come up with this uh, uh, bracket myself uh, I, I fabricate this, uh, I made this uh, uh, mounting bracket from uh, acrylic plate uh, Three pieces of it, I glue it together So it can, uh, this one, like this, okay These are the front one, I even made for the front one Okay So this actually made the, high, uh, made the right higher a little bit, uh, I think 10 cm higher. Okay, because okay, actually at the front you don't have, you don't have to do it to do this. But if you did not do the same thing, the car will be uh, more uh, what do you call it front mm. angle are not right. Angle are not. Uh, Symmetrical, it will not uh, go flat, uh, horizontal. It will more angle on, on the front, lower on the front, higher on the back, because your absorber uh, are still uh, higher. So if you do on the same height, so it will uh, stay at the same horizontal line. Okay, so I'm going to that route. Okay, during of the filming. I watch a YouTube video on the YouTube. Uh, I post a link below. Then, then I found out there's a there's a special mounting, special uh, bracket called cantilever made by Extra Speed. During during the build video, I shoot the video. So I look into into the the online shop and I found one. 
so I get it from Amazon, but I cannot. Uh, the the item must still in shipping. If I receive that uh, cattle liver, I'm gonna install it here. Then I'm get make a video of it. That one will be a separate video. I'm not sure I'm gonna stay with this uh, high lifted, uh, high lifted uh, setup, or I'm gonna use that cattle liver that make the car much more lower as a original setup. So that one will be in the different video whether I'm gonna stick to this look or I'm gonna use that uh, cantilever okay other than this other than this uh, mounting the interior are much more I think uh, are the same or oh, because of the because of the the high lift I have to loosen up this uh, racket uh, this uh, servo link because of the shorter wing calling okay so i have to lose it up uh, extend it a little bit so that the, uh, that the servo are working normally because of the slight uh, increase in height i think maybe 10 m 10 cm uh, not 10 cm sorry not 10 cm uh, 10 mm of the height okay so so far i done um, i test run it on the in the house so far, it's uh, running good. Hopefully, when I test it on the on the here, on the Tamanawa, it's uh, gonna function uh, normally. Okay. For this bracket also, I made a special uh, uh, portion here so to accommodate this link. This link are uh, stay stay the same length. Okay. Okay. As for the absorber. This one I just try it out whether how does it perform, but I'm still liking the original Texas uh, original Texas uh, shower uh, absorber because uh, the one uh, for me still better than this one. Okay, I'm gonna see how it's going out. Okay, this is for this is lighting for the uh, lighting cable for the. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to find a way. How I can uh, do uh, this quick disconnect from this thing, but for time we stay like this. Okay, we are gonna switch on the car. Okay, oh yeah. Before I forget, one uh, one disadvantage of this car, uh, this uh, body kit, if you if you want to maintain the lower bed up to here then you are not able to use this anymore because this battery bay are high, are high so if you gonna put this here it's gonna <coughs> gonna touch the body so you're not able to use uh, this type of battery I mean this type longer battery so that's why I'm gonna use this uh, small battery, uh, 2S battery, uh, 1500 mAh. Then we test earlier in the my in my previous video how long that you can play this one. If you haven't watched it already, click on the card above here or here. I don't know where I put it. Okay. So please watch the video if you want to see how long that you can play with this uh, this uh, battery, this capacity of battery, 1500. This one, uh, 5000. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it here. <laughs> you have to watch it there. Okay. So this battery gonna sit here. So the bed are up to here. So pretty much this battery. So this battery are useless. Except unless that I can find the lower lower center gravity battery, or maybe I can fabricate myself. I made it myself. I put it behind here. Lower than uh, this, uh, maybe lower than this, this chassis. Okay, we're gonna switch this one on. Switch. Gonna use this small battery. I have a gas here. Oh, oh. Then can you? Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh. Switch on the, please. Before that, 
to put this uh, body uh, first. So this is the, the light. If you go forward. I think the light should be just for set up. So if you go forward, the light the only the headlight are, are switched on. If you turn to the left, only the left right turn on. Okay. If you turn right, the right light on. Okay, guys. I think uh, that's it for the video. I hope I earn your uh, subscription. Uh, it really meant. Uh, uh, so sorry. It's really mean a lot to me hopefully you guys can support me through subscription uh, like uh, share the video to others so others can see uh, this uh, amazing uh, uh, body i love you so much i like it so much i cannot wait to test it tomorrow i'm uh, gonna run it and uh, come on one day i'm gonna make a, a running video as usual Okay hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe, uh, that's it for me, bye, thank you for watching. What? You're watching? Yeah.